Okay, this is gonna be a quick audio check, just a quick check. Wrong scene, wrong scene. Hi, good morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone's doing well today. Um, I am trying a different camera capture method today. We're gonna see how that goes. Um, previously I had like a little USB camera capture um, mini card, but like the quality wasn't like what I wanted. So I got another Elgato to capture just the camera. And I was running tests this weekend, and it was looking alright, it was alright. But like, I was doing so much troubleshooting, and it was honestly a hassle, but we'll get more into that later. We can go ahead and go back into our Stardew Valley from last week. So I also want to start keeping track of what missions I have done, or like the weekly missions, because I believe, okay they're talking about tap. I wonder if there's like, <gasps> oh my god thank you, I was so fucking pissed about the blackberries last week, oh, oh wait! He brings them to you the next day. Oh, I'm so fucking stupid. Because I was, like, legit mad. That, like, I lost him. Oh, okay, I'm so happy. I'm so relieved. Like, beyond relieved. Because, like, I hate losing stuff. Because like, I thought you got it, like, right away instantly. And I forgot that you get it the next day. I wonder if the trees produce syrup during winter. Can't recall if they do or not. Cause honestly, I really need to start focusing on building buildings and stuff. Because if we're gonna beat this by year two, then we need to get that all settled in. Oh my god, what, what was I doing there? Okay, I totally flubbed everything. It's because I accidentally held A. Okay, we're fine, we're saved. I need to get another chest because I have no room for anything. Yeah, we can go on into town though. Try we get more seeds and see what our weekly mission is. Yeah, so I was like troubleshooting everything on Saturday. That's when I got my new capture card. And it was honestly such a pain in the ass. I mean, I was able to figure it out. Um, because since I'm using two Elgatos, I'm using one that's directly capturing 
that's like integrated into my streaming software and then the other one I'm screen capping like right now I'm screen capping my because I don't have exit so I have to do the artichoke one Rick. okay I guess we're getting artichokes fuck man That's a lot. I just planted seeds too. Oh my! I need to learn to wait. See how long artichokes even take. Wait. Do we not have artichokes unlocked? <sighs> Why don't we? I thought we harvest some already. I think you have to get that from the desert lady. Well, either way, I couldn't do the egg mission anyway. I really hope that doesn't, like, fuck up the rotation, though. I thought we harvested artichokes already. I guess not, because I know that artichokes are like a year two crop. But I think you can get them from the desert lady. Well, either way, we can't do any of the weekly missions, so that's a bummer. I mean, it's fine though. We'll just do something else this week. I think I should focus on getting more preserve jars made. I should probably be mining this week. That way I can get more coal. And then when we go up to the mine we can see what we need for buildings. I forgot to even buy seeds when I was there. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I haven't played in a couple days, so like I totally blanked on what I need to do. Okay. Yeah, I for sure need more coal for preserve jars. I think we're going to be mining the rest of this week. So let's go ahead and buy more seeds while we're heading this way. And then stop at Robin, see what supplies we need. But she's not going to be there tomorrow. The only thing we could really be growing right now is probably bok choy. Yeah, that's a good amount. Okay, so we definitely have enough for a coop. So we can actually build that today. Oh wow, I didn't realize it was just not that much. 
Okay, so let's actually go home. Wait, how much do we need? 300-100. Yeah, so I think I want to put the barns up in the top section. By the um, main farmhouse. Like in this area. Get rid of all these trees that I planted. Badge. Yeah, so I think I'll put silos behind here. Okay, so I have to think about, it should fit perfectly there. Yeah, I was also kind of worried about streaming today because there's another windstorm blowing through town right now like the lights were flickering like the power hasn't gone out out yet and I was worried about like a stream would keep going but then I remembered if I don't have internet then the stream ends so therefore I forgot to grab the materials Like, if our router doesn't have power, then we don't have internet, so therefore no stream. So the stream should default to end in a minute if I don't have internet. So then I don't have to worry about, like, finding a way to end it. So we're good. And today was just, like, a waste of time. Like, literally a waste of valuable in-game time. I'm debating whether or not I want to, like, reset the day. Which I try to avoid doing. I've only really done it twice. On days where like, I really fucked up. But like, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, let's build this now. So I have to take into consideration where fences will go, so I think this is a really good spot. Maybe over one. That way I can walk behind the building and there's space enough for fence, yeah. So I think this is a really good spot. I mean, I can always move it later, so that's not too big a deal. The fucking festival. T uh. Right now we're focusing on getting coal, which spawns randomly when you hit rocks, so...
have we gotten any coal? We got one. Let's go. Yeah, once we finish this level, we'll go on home because it's already basically 9 o'clock. There we how dark it is. Let's see if we can sell any gems. Oh, quite a handful. Yeah, let's see how much coal we have. None. <laughs> then I needed wood and stone, I think, right? Yeah, okay. We can go ahead and make one. I kind of want to... Alright, I shouldn't make... I was going to say, I kind of want to make some stone fence. 
But I think I should hold off on that. That way I can save storage space at least. Oh yeah, I need to... So I want to put veggies in the first one and then fruit in the second one. So now we're all organized. Okay. I know today is the harvest festival. Like, I'm honestly debating. I think you can I think you might get seeds. Oh you can you can get a um a star fruit. And that's like the best thing you can get from the festival because it upgrades like your energy bar. Because I was like internally debating if I wanted to skip it or not. just like skip the jelly the harvest festival because like they're kind of dumb like you don't get any items like it's cute to see like all the cutscenes and stuff but they don't change with every year so like by the time you get to like year three you're like kind of like burned out on the festivals I'm gonna put pawns down here for sure. Yeah, I definitely wanna put more plots down here. I get a chance. Actually, let's kinda of like visualize it.
God, I hate how this doesn't like line up nicely. I mean, it's honestly fine. It's fine. Okay, right, these do not fit nicely. Oh yeah, I do not like this. Actually, let's not put anything down there, because that does not look pretty at all. I'm actually kind of happy with all the fields I have for now. Like, I don't need a mass amount of crops. Okay, so since we do not have any artisan goods, it's going to be a little bit harder to beat the harvest fair. Which is fine, like it's not too big a deal, we can always win it in future years. Can I give George the pepper? I wonder if we can. Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> I couldn't move for a second. Yeah, the only thing I want is a star drop. It's literally all I want. Okay, let's find George. Where is he? Yeah, there he is. Oh, I can't give it to him. Okay, that sucks. I guess that mission will just have to wait. I mean, that's totally fine. Having one syrup. Oh, I should have grabbed the other syrup. I totally forgot. Okay, that should be adequate. Let's see if we win. <laughs> I get one fucking token. I've never gotten like 100% on that and I get one fucking token. Yes, did. Did. Okay, second, not bad. Let's see how many tokens we need for that star fruit. Two thousand? Okay. So I found the easiest mini game was definitely the fishing one. I suck at that target one.
go. Yeah, I don't get how you still get seaweed. Like two or three more games, and then we'll have enough tokens. Oh, I almost lost that perfect there. Another seaweed? Come on. Not fair. Another one. Good. Oh, we didn't beat the clock. That sucked. I got like too many freaking algaes. Sorry, that was totally unfair. This guy's scamming. Here we go, one algae. Mm. 
You probably have time for maybe one humor fish. We we're lucky. Oh, I threw, I threw! Oh, we lucked out, we lucked out. Because as long as the fish is on the hook before time runs out, it counts. Okay, let's see. Nice. Okay, so one more round and then we'll be good. Okay, let's see if we can get one. Oh, let's go. Hey. 123. Pretty good. Yeah, hey, that was like the worst round. Star fruit and get out of here. Okay, be good. I forgot to empty out my my box. Oh no. I mean it's fine. It's fine. Bad day. I mean it's just seven fruits, so not too bad. Dude, we just taking L's today. Okay, so the rest of the week is gonna be mining, so we can get enough coal to build more preserve jars. Oh, up 2k, nice. So my goal for the end of the week is to get hella coal, 
and then earn enough money to um, get our barn built. Yeah, it's Wednesday, so the shop's not open. We'll have to buy more seeds tomorrow. is just foraged items though. Okay, let's head to the mines. We didn't reach the bottom. Or copper bar. It's pretty nice. It's not often that those will drop.
Nice. Got the ladder early. I'm gonna make sure we heal. Very easy to get hit in the later levels by enemies. Because they come in a lot more like hordes. Okay, there's no more gems. I'm gonna go ahead and head down. Okay, we made it to 110. Thank goodness. I think the last few attempts, I respawned both times. It's five o'clock, so we probably have enough time to get through maybe three, four levels. Look how much gold we have. 
But we got three. Nice. It's so hard to grind coal. Like, I would use the... I don't know what it's called, but you can put wood in to get coal. But, like, wood is so much harder to get in, like, the end game that I don't really want to waste it on that for now. I can only really start using that machine once I have all my buildings set up. Which hopefully I should have all made and upgraded by summer year two. We got another coal. It's so satisfying to go through the levels and get like every single stone. today just woke up did <laughs> it's already afternoon for you dude i mean it's okay it's okay if you're up late then that's fine i forgive you i assume you're up gaming yeah i hope you're doing well three hours behind rip <laughs> always go to bed late yeah it's it's i imagine it's gonna be hard like when factoring in time zones and stuff because i i lived in hawaii for a couple months years ago and they're three hours behind pacific standard time so you guys are like six hours ahead of like Hawaii, which is insane to like think about. Three hours doesn't make so much of a difference, but when it's 10 p.m. and 1 a.m. for me, I guess that's the difference. Oh yeah. Like I like I usually will be up till like eleven. Cause like my friend gets off of work at like ten thirty and then we'll be on the phone for a little bit. But like I've been going to sleep at like eleven and then waking up at like five. And then going back to bed and then waking up at eight. Like it sucks. Oh, it's 10.30 already. Sheesh. Okay, I gotta get out of here. I've been going to bed at 4 and waking up at 2. Well, that's a long-ass time to sleep, man. Ooh, I need the hardwood. What can I drop? I don't need bones, I don't need bones. Not a bones day. I get so tired. Yeah, it's hard because like, I've noticed since, because I don't work right now. And when I was working, I'd be on my feet for like eight, nine hours every day. And I'd get home exhausted, right? But I was still like moving around. But now that I'm not working, like I'm, 
I spend so much more of my time like sitting down or like not moving and like I'm getting like back pain and some like knee pain like right now for exercise I usually bike I try and do like two miles every day but like I've noticed on days where I don't go biking like I feel more sore like we've been having some storms this weekend too and today as well so like I haven't biked since Friday and it sucks Because the trail I usually go on, it got flooded on Saturday, so no one has been able to access it. Still. Even today it's still closed, I think they said. You bought an elliptical? Nice. See, like, I've never tried an elliptical or, like, a stationary bike. I kind of want to get one. I mean, I I live with my parents still, sad. But, like, I have literally no space at all. But it's good they're using it. I need oak resin. When you got MS, you move back in. That that's gotta suck. Like, um, because when I graduated from high school, I was like, I'm gonna like move out, get a job. Because like I had a summer job lined up, but like I didn't get it for is out of my control um so like i didn't have a job this summer out of high school and that just like put a wrench into all my plans and it sucked but i didn't start because i was doing all in college i still am um but i was basically like three months behind because i'd planned to save up at least like two grand that way i could move out at the start of the fall time, but it didn't work out. And from like late 2019 to midway through this year, like I was working so hard in terms of just like how many hours I worked every day to like save enough money and stuff. And we, we were looking at, me and my sister were looking at apartments in um, February and March of 2020. And we were planning on like getting a lease, right? But then like restrictions and lockdowns happened, so like we were like it's probably financially better to just stay at home. So that's what we've been doing for the past year and a half. And like honestly, I'd rather be saving my money for when I do have to start paying off my loans. But yeah. I get to be with my sister more and I love her. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. I think I'll be moving in with my boyfriend next year, too. Oh, nice. We love that. I think it's nice that your, your parents are letting you stay with them, though. It's good that they're being supportive in that aspect. He's American? Oh, okay. So you gotta figure out if you're gonna move there or if he's gonna move to you, yeah? Are you going there? Nice. <laughs> America's kind of scary, though. <laughs> I know, yeah, it's kind of sus. I mean, if you're a minority, you're basically fucked. <laughs> but, ah, uh, I mean, the way I see it, a lot of where you live dictates, like, your lifestyle. Like, your life can be totally different based on what state you live in. There's so much different, like, policies and laws in every state. Please a minority. California. Okay, California's not too bad. California's definitely a blue state, so... 
not nearly as many hate crimes as other states. San Diego. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm in Washington State, so pretty good over here. As long as you don't go to Eastern Washington, that's where all the hillbillies are, so we don't talk about that. <laughs> Yeah, Washington was like, I read in an article that it's like the most, like, friendly state for LGBTQ people, which is cool. Just pod. Americans live so different from Canadians. I've never met a Canadian, fortunately. I've only, I went to Japan couple years ago, then Alaska, which is in the States. And I haven't really traveled- oh wait, no. I went to Montana because I went to Yellowstone Park. Otherwise, I haven't really gone many places. <laughs> Me? <laughs> yeah, I'd like to travel. I, I think it's so weird how like- a lot of young people will take like a graduation trip, but it's actually just their parents' money, so it's like it's not like they earn the money themselves to go on those trips typically. Like me and my friend were gonna plan like a mini like want to do day trip to Oregon, which is the our bordering state. Like, still, I probably gotta set aside, like, probably, like, five to eight hundred for that. Which I don't have right now. We can talk to Gail after this. Cool. Max is from the south, and he told me Canada was, health was too healthy to live here. Sorry, I'm trying to- I'm trying to figure out what you're trying to say. Cause like, grammar's kinda sus in <laughs> what you just typed, so I'm just trying to figure out. I'm sorry, I'm honestly trying. <laughs> I'm like, um... <laughs> so was he saying that like, America good, or... Canada good? <laughs> yeah, honestly didn't get a lot of sleep last night either. Because my room is right next to, like, Max from the South in America I came here to visit me and told me Canada was too healthy. Oh, like, Canada was good. Yeah, Southern, like, um, America sucks just based on the policies that um, politicians advocate for. Um, it's because a lot of Southern states' policies will prioritize, like, companies and stuff over um, progressive policy and like human rights shit so yeah don't just don't ever go in the southern states just don't <laughs> I mean those problems would ease not easily but it'd be solved if more people voted Yeah, if you move to America. Have you been to America, though? Like, have you visited at all? No, not yet. You should, like, take a trip. When it when it's safe to, you know. <clears throat> you know, hit the hot spots. California, New York. You know, the go-tos. Our national parks are really pretty, too. Oh, he's gonna visit you in January? Oh, cute. Nice. That's really sweet. I think it's honestly so cute and endearing when I see, like, online relationships. 
Because I honestly can never do it. Like, I'm very much like... Uh... Sounds kind of sus, but like, I, I really need like, physical attention. Like, I'm very like, cuddly and stuff. Like, I'm fine with like, texting and stuff, but like... If I don't like, see the person, it like, kind of irks me. Granted, I never had an online relationship. Like, I remember with um, a previous partner. This was when I was 19 and 20 we were together. And cause I, I took the Japan trip and I was gone for about a month because I was in Hawaii for a week. In Japan for a week and then in Hawaii for like a week and a half. So it was basically a month since we've seen each other. And like we agreed, we agreed to not say I miss you. Because I really, I have really bad separation anxiety just in general. Um, because I know, like, saying I miss you is such, like, a filler thing to say to me. Like, those three words do not express how much you, like, genuinely miss someone. So I, I told them, I was like, you know, we're not gonna say I miss you. We're not gonna do that on phone calls. We're not gonna do that in text. And, um, and then, like, the third weekend, no, it was, like, the second weekend, uh, we were texting each other, and he was like, you know, I really miss you. I was like, fuck! I was like, no! And it was bad because, like, once, like, the, to me, those three words were said, it only, like, kind of reinforced how much, like, it sucked. And it, it wasn't a good trip either. Like, it was a family trip. It didn't really go well, so, like, I just really wanted to go home, but, like, I really couldn't because we were in another country, right? But... And it was really hard for that month. Like... Like, I wouldn't be opposed to an online relationship, but... I don't think I could do it. <laughs> well, me too, but we're kind of like losers in VR chat all day long while he works. <laughs> That's cute, though. Just like, linger. Oh, Sag. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh no. Did we F? Did we F? Oh no. I think it F'd. Okay, it says I'm still alive. Let's see, are we still alive? Okay, it says we're live. Okay. Like I said, we're having some windstorms right now. Oh, it's reading you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Rainy. I appreciate you. Um, like I said earlier, we were having some windstorms earlier, so like I was kind of sussed out. But the power might drop. Um, it was weird, because like, on my screen, usually, on because I use Twitch Studio, it'll have like a red banner across the top if you drop. But my browser, like my internet browser, because I have it open in another tab, um, my internet browser dropped, so that's why I like, I like to have another tab open. But like, since I just have my laptop, I just have one monitor, but I have like three windows open so I can see everything. Because I'm so like just anxious about something not working. Oh my god. Like, I, I, will, oh, I will typically do, like, test streams, like, every morning just to make sure everything is working. Because I'm just like, please. I, like, I hate, um, like, sometimes I'll go into the Discover tab and, like, you don't hear any audio and you're just like, fuck. Like, I feel bad for the person. Usually, like, I, whenever I, like, I go to, like, the Discover tab, I'll, like, watch a random stream for, like, five minutes and then leave. Like, I won't chat right away because, like, you want to see what, like, the vibe is, right? But, like, there's, like, maybe at least one time every day that I do go and discover there's someone who has their mic muted or, like, the audio is fucked up. And it's like, dude, how do you not, like, test this before? It's like, come on. Like, if you want to be pro, like, there should be, like, a standard for, like, what you're doing. Like, you, you should at least, like, kind of know basic tech stuff. I 
That's why I love you. Thank you. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's so funny. <laughs> like, I don't mind pointing stuff out because, like, I'd rather, like, someone say something. Because, like, as a streamer, if you don't have, like, another tab open or, like, someone helping, you don't know, like, what it looks like. So, like, I totally don't mind calling that stuff out. Might be getting a new mic today. Ooh, an another new one? <laughs> I thought you said you just got one. <laughs> Might be buying it used. It's like 180, but I found it for 90. Ooh, 50% off. That's pretty pog. That's really, that's actually quite a good steal. As long as it's not like too icky, you know, because like mics are disgusting. Oh, the guy won't drop it off, Sag. I hate that. Um. <clears throat> oh, I just knocked my headset over. Like, my parents will use OfferUp, which is kind of like a mobile version of Craigslist. Basically what it is. Like, you can always use it for, like, buying secondhand items for just randos online. And, like, there's been so many times where, like, people will bail. They're like, oh, I'm not selling anymore. Or, like, I sold it already. It's like, dude, why not update your listing then? Like, you're wasting everyone's time. Oh, perfect. He used it for a podcast and how really touched it. It's still in the box. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> the guy kept the box. <laughs> Honestly, who keeps boxes for, like, stuff? Like, I always will immediately throw away any packaging I have. Unless the box is, like, cute, then I'll keep the box. I know you're not supposed to do that, because, like, if it, like, malfunctions, then you're supposed to return it in the box. But, you know, I just hate... <laughs> I can see, I hate having clutter, but my room is so fucking messy right now. It's because, like, I have... This is my, my gaming corner, so I have my TV, my laptop... And then this mini love seat for stream. And then over here, I have another desk where I do art stuff. Because it's so much easier to like just leave your projects in a place and not have to move it around every time. In terms of like having to put all your supplies away and then taking them all out again when you start your project. But because of that, I have two desks in my room, and my room is very cramped. I mean, the way I see it, it's kind of like if this were like a one studio apartment, just without the kitchenette. That's kind of like how I envision it. That's why I don't mind it being so cramped. Oh, right here. My typing is so bad now. Dude, you can type like 60 words per minute. Like, no shot, I can never get that. You do a lot better than me. I mean, accuracy is important, I guess. It's because, like, when I type, I still have to look at the keyboard. I don't have all the like, keyboards memorized yet. Oh, not with this keyboard, you don't like it? <laughs> Gaming keyboards are so spaced out. You're used to office keyboards? Okay. I didn't- is there like- I didn't realize there was a difference. I just thought it was like keyboard is a keyboard. I mean, that's probably super naive to say. Because <laughs> like, the only keyboards I've used were like, ones in school. Um, laptops. And then like, the big old like, off-white boxy computers they had in like, the early thousands. That's the only real exposure I've had. Cause like, I'm not much of a PC gamer, so like, that's why I don't have like, 
a PC setup. Gaming keyboards are larger and spaced out. Is there a reason for that? Is so like What's the benefit to that? are closer together so I didn't miss the keys but on this one I'm constantly clicking out letters <laughs> you're googling okay thank you I appreciate it <laughs> I'm gonna go buy some more seeds now compared to standard keyboards the keys and gaming carriers are well spaced well spaced <laughs> which not only make it easier to type but also harder to accidentally press the wrong keys <laughs> lies <laughs> Yeah, how would it be easier? I don't know. So much more difficult, harder, yeah. I mean, I can kind of see, I think. I mean, if you're already accustomed to like, like traditional keyboards. Yeah, I don't see like the benefit to it. Like, I'm so used to using laptops, because, like, all the keys, they're so much more, like, I guess lower than, like, a, tr a traditional keyboard. Because, like, a traditional keyboard, the, like, the keys are, like, raised. Ooh, copper, dude. And, like, I was using, um, a keyboard in the library. A while ago and I hated the raised keys of a traditional keyboard like I hated it same with cordless earbuds you don't like those I like cordless earbuds like I have uh, earbuds right now I'm never going back to corded no shot Getting breakfast, lunch, food. Yeah, go eat something. <laughs> Back to you later. I appreciate you coming in. As always, Rainy. Why can't I? Oh, okay. It wasn't letting me pick it up. I don't think I have enough for anything right now. I think we'll just mine the rest of the day. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think I have nearly enough to buy. I think the barn was 8k. Actually, I wrote it down. I wrote everything down. Oh, barn is only 6k. I can probably afford it today. Okay, so we need wood and stone. Wood and stone. My only concern is getting there on time. Because it's already noon.
Nice, we got enough. Oh, that's weird. It doesn't line up perfectly. Okay, I think this is a good spot, because then I could put Silas behind it. Okay, cool. Yeah, so there should be enough for the shed up by the barns as well. I kind of want to have a shed for reserve jars and then a shed for kegs. But like, I think the profit margins for long term are better for preserve jars because they take not as much time as kegs. I mean, with kegs, then you can make wine. So, oh, I should see what I need to upgrade the house as well. I think it's hardwood and then just hella money. Upgrade the house, because I always forget to upgrade the house. Because for some of the comm center items, you do need food. Or cooked items. Yeah, so winter, we're definitely going to focus on grinding money. A lot of fishing, a lot of mining, so we can get more preserve jars made and ready. Because I want to definitely have all the beehives ready for spring. Switch it down. Yeah, I was doing tech tests for my new capture method for face scan. And I was so disappointed because like it does look a little bit better than what it was before. But because I can only stream in 720, like I cannot get like full like HD that I want. Because like I did a few test streams in like 900 D and then 1080. And like face cam was like exactly what I wanted. And I was just like, ah, oh, it's a bummer. Because just the limitations of my laptop, I cannot be streaming at anything higher than 720. Like, I could stream at 900, like, that's doable. But then, because I did a test for like an hour, and then it crashed a few times. Because what'll happen. Is like one software will like disable itself because it's basically running more than it can. Like the mic cut out in one instance, and then like screen would go black. In some instances. Like I wish I could do 900. I want that nice face cam. I'm mean, granted it's still nice. Like it's still good. Like when it's in full cam.
Like with the gameplay, like not there, just full face cam, like it looks good. I mean, the one thing I do like about like tech stuff is that there's always, most always gonna be like a solution to anything. Because I was doing like comparisons to people who do stream in like 1080 and then like changing the resolution to like 720 and it looked the same quality as like mine so like I know if I was able to stream in 1080 then I'd have like the resolution that I want. But it still was a bummer. I mean I wanted to get a second Elgato anyway. But now that I know I can use two at once, that's a good thing. Or rather, now that I know my computer can handle it, that's a plus. Because I wanted to do, if I was doing art stuff, I wanted to have two cams. One for like face cam and then the other for like POV. Just the issue with that is I would need to have like a second camera, which no shot, I'm gonna buy a second camera. Because like, I'm honestly not worried about monetization too much. I know a lot of people who are monetized don't make a lot. But it'd still be nice. Like, I feel like... I don't know. Like, I feel like I'd try higher, harder. If I was monetized. But then it's also like, I should just be making stuff how I want to make it. Let's see if we can make more preserved jars. We can make a few more. Okay, end of another day.
Ooh, a lot of trees grew. So I kind of want to clear out that area and replant the trees nicer. So I think we're gonna try and clear out that area of trees that grown. There's not a lot of time for more seeds, so I don't think we're gonna buy more seeds for this season. I can put more plots here, like just across. We'll work on that during winter. Somehow some stuff can fall in the water. Not fair. Oh, I forgot that we should be mining today, huh? <laughs> Whoops. You can do that tomorrow. We do a little mining up here. I've been having a lot more issues with my internet. Like, I'm paying for, like, really nice internet right now. Like, 30 upload. Like, 80 download. But as of recent, it's been kind of, like, sussy lately.
Okay, so we can maybe mine the rest of the day. Like a little bit. thought about changing my schedule because like I know it's not necessarily good to stream every day because then like any recurring viewers probably aren't gonna be there every day which is fine like I don't mind but then like I also hope to think the more you stream the more likely someone random will come in and it's like, I know if I only did it, like, three instead of five days. Because honestly, having, like, a consistent schedule is really good for me. Because just with online school, like, you choose your own, like, hours you want to study and stuff. A lot of, like, the lectures are pre-recorded, so you can watch them whenever. And, like, I found on days where I don't stream, like, on the weekends, like, I'm low-key sad because I don't have that, like, structure that day or like a scheduled thing for that day and I would stream in the evenings because that's when I know like more people are on but like I don't like streaming when people are home weekends are the worst days to stream really is it because like normies are actually doing stuff and not online is that why <laughs> yep yeah <laughs> I was playing some games with my sister this weekend. Oh, we were playing Mario Kart. And she's like, why is no one on? Because it took us a long time to find like a full lobby. And I was like, dude, it's Saturday night. People are probably like getting fucked up right now. And she's like, yeah, you're right. Because <laughs> we're both like homebodies for the most part. Um, like I've thought about like just doing like longer streams on my alt account. Cause like I kinda wanna do Animal Crossing on the alt. Cause like right now I'm focusing on like decorating my island, so when I have to delete it, it's gonna look cute, right? I also like it's crazy how people can like stream all day. Like fucking Hassan. He goes for like all day every day and it's insane. Like how can you be like on for that long like personality wise. Cause like the way I see streams like you're basically like hanging out with that person for a couple hours. Ooh, longest message. Give me one second. <laughs> so what happens is most people have time to stream a weekend, so the channels are like... Times 200 of discovery ability is hard on weekends. My viewers are about 10 to 15 and the weekdays can go from 10 to 30. Oh, okay. Oh, so like, people who have actual jobs who are off on weekends can stream. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, so more people are streaming on weekends, making it harder to find everyone. I guess that kind of makes sense because, like, people are going to want to tune into people who stream on weekends when compared to weekdays. Because if more people are alive. Because, like, the thing that I don't, like, I feel bad for is, like, I wish I could tune into, like, everyone's streams that I watch or consistently watch. But it's, like, if so-and-so is live, like, if person A is live, but, like, I like person B more, <laughs> like, I'll watch person B, right? But, like, like, I'm trying to tune into, like, every stream that can, like, I'll just pop in to say hi if I'm, like, not able to watch watch. Because, like, I feel, like, a weird sense of, like, dedication. I 
I leave lurk, so that's that's nice. It's nice. Cause like if I'm watching someone, like I want to be like fully engaged if possible. Like the only time I'll have like more than one stream open is when like. I don't know, what was gonna... If it's someone like I'm modding and then someone I don't mod for, I guess. I mean, I only mod for you, Rainy, <laughs> but. <laughs> like, if you're live and then one of my friends is live, I'll have my friend on in the background. You have five streams open? Oh my god. Typing in this one? Oh, thank you. Am I your favorite then? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Don't wanna leak, don't wanna leak. But I appreciate it. Of course, no, you're lying. Don't say that, don't say that. <laughs> Someone's gonna clip it and expose me. Or expose you. But either way, I appreciate you chatting. I really do. It's like, I'm still getting used to, like, just talking. Like, I, I know it's bad. It's a bad habit. Like, I don't talk when I have, like, no one in chat. Which I know is not good for discoverability. I know when I go and like lurk in streams, I get annoyed when the person isn't talking. But that's because I like I like people who are always talking. Like I don't like quieter streamers, I guess. <laughs> I only chat in a few streams. I like your opinions. Oh, thank you. I have kind of good takes. Mainly, <laughs> I'm just repeating what Hassan says. <laughs> Political wise, but you know, I try. Oh fuck, it's 10 o'clock. Okay, I gotta get out of here. I had to learn how to stream with zero reviews for so long. Yeah, it's. I think. Like, a lot of your crossover comes from other platforms. Like, I know you get a lot more. Like, I've noticed just watching your streams when you get a lot more followers when you do, like, VR chat. Because that's when you have, like, people coming in that you see in the game and then, like, pop in and say hi, right? But, like, that doesn't always translate to, like, consistent viewers. But, like, I want to cross-post more. It's just hard to think of, like, original content. And, like, just because someone likes, for example, like, your TikTok content doesn't mean you'll like your, they'll like your Twitch content. So, like... And it's not, because, like, the normal person is not a marketing genius. So, like, they don't necessarily know how to market themselves either. That's why, like, I feel like I'm trying to learn. And I gave myself a timeline. Like, I told myself I'd like to hit affiliate in three months, but if not, that's okay. If not in three months, then give it six. Um, like, I'm not too worried. I think because if I give myself too strict, because, like, those are goals, right? That's not a timeline. It's a goal. And if you're not able to hit that goal, it's fine. You know, it's not something that I'm planning on, like, relying on for income. So. Yeah. I had to learn how to stream with zero, zero viewers for so long and to talk to myself. Yeah, like, I, okay, my first stream, I did not do a test stream. Which I regret doing because it was a drawing stream. And I was streaming at 1080p because small brain, I thought my computer can handle it, but it was a fucking 2017 MacBook Pro. And um, those MacBooks, you can't upgrade the RAM or CPU. So, like, it was shit. It was super laggy. My mic was cutting in and out because, like, my computer couldn't handle everything. And, like, everyone who came in was telling me, or I had, a, I had one guy come in and be like, hey, you know, your mic isn't really good and, like, your frame rates are dropping. I was like, really? Because, like, I didn't know how to fix it because I didn't do a test stream. And it sucked. I I had, like, seven new people come in on that stream. And I missed my chance. Like, I missed seven potential followers. And I was like, fuck. I mean, that's my fault for not doing proper, like, tech tests. That's why I'm, like, super, like, on edge. <laughs> Just in general now to make sure that, like, everyone works for every stream. Or everything tech-wise works for every stream. Because I'm, like, I'm not going to lose someone. Because my mic is not working. Like, I'm not gonna let that happen. Um. But yeah. Um. I'm sorry that I'm behind. It's because, like, I, I will, like, go into tangents on one topic. Like, if I'm given a prompt, 
Like, I was the person who would write, if there was three pages for an essay, I'd write six. You know what I mean? I'm a rambler, too. Like, I think I'm good at storytelling, but I'm not. <laughs> I tell so many unnecessary details. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna- this is gonna be the last day for stream, so I'm probably gonna be on for another 20 minutes. Cause I kinda want- for starting streams, I wanna do one week per stream, so about two hours. It's all good, thank you, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, thank you. I try. Um, let's see. I'm marking what I'm good at. So singing, cosplay, plus size, body positivity. Yeah, it's a good combo, you know. Well, variety or good variety, I guess. It's like I also need to figure out what I want my brand to be. Because I was, <laughs> I was watching um Lud Ludwig's Ludwig's. Oh, that's so fucking hard to say. Video about because he was talking about um. There was an article released about streamers and like how difficult the job is and how like the income is not necessarily worth it for like all the hours put in. And one of the people they interviewed was commenting on like how am I supposed to like describe myself? Like a quirky girl who plays games badly? Is that my brand? <laughs> and it's like, I guess. Because I think personality has so much to do with who engages with your content. Because anyone can play a game, right? And you either have to be like good at the game or like be funny enough playing the game in order for people to watch it, right? I was talking to my sister about this a while ago. I've told this story before. And she didn't understand because <laughs> she was like, why don't you just watch like One Piece on stream? Just do a One Piece reaction stream. And I was like, I could do that, but do you not understand copyright laws? And she's like, not really. And I was like, okay, let's say you drew a picture, right? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, it's your picture, right? She's like, yeah, I drew it. I'm like, yeah. I was like, would you like it if someone took that picture and like said it was there? She's like, well, no, not really. Like, yeah, because that's your IP, that's your like creation, right? You wouldn't so you wouldn't want someone to necessarily profit off it, right? And she was like, yeah, it makes sense. So, and then she was like, well, then how come like YouTubers can make videos about stuff? And I was like, well, because it's transformative. That's what fair use is in America, at least. Like, as long as it's a uh, good example. Um, you see a lot of like, not necessarily copyright infringement, but like a lot of like similar art pieces, right? But that's because basically all art is transformative. So like, if you're drawing from a photo reference, you are using someone else's like image, but you're translating it in your own style or way. So like, it's different enough to where you can say it's your creation, right? And that's kind of like how, I know there's like a whole debate on like video games and stuff and like how Nintendo was like super, um, like adamant about getting people taken down for like playing their game music and stuff or playing their games like a while ago on YouTube, like I think like three, four years ago. But the reason why games are considered free u fair use is because technically since like the person has full control of the character they are able to, like, in some cases where games don't have voice actors, they can do character voices, that type of thing. It's transformative enough to where you will, the person who's watching the video or the content will have a different experience based on who's playing it, right? So, it's interesting how, like, gameplay and Let's Plays became so popular in recent years. I think it's because... Um, the best analogy that I think was ever used to compare, like, video game commentary was, like, sports games. Like, you watch a baseball game and, like, it's boring. Like, you only really listen for, like, the commentators, right? And that's basically what gameplay is. 
yes, you will get like a different, um, not game, <laughs> but like outcome based on which team is playing. But like the commentaries, commentary people very much make the content, right? Because it's additive enough to where the VR experience is totally changed with and without commentary. Because I was trying to explain to my parents. Cause they're like, oh, what are you doing in your room? I was like, well, I'm basically streaming games. So they're like, oh, how do you do that? And it's like, oh, you, you play the game and then you add commentary. They're like, that seems kind of weird. I'm like, yeah, well, that's, that's basically what all sports games are, right? Let's be honest, sports games are kind of boring. I mean, my family's never been sports people. Like, we were never, like, too into it. Oh, then get banned, yeah. Sorry, I missed that message. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, but, like, I know there's some people who do, like, react stuff. And like React content, to me is kind of mid, kind of mid. Like I know whenever I watch React content, I very rarely will watch like the commentator. Like I'm just watching the actual thing they're reacting to. <clears throat> I mean, React content for stream is not good in my opinion. I think React content for YouTube is so much better because there's so many like bits you can add or like side gags you can have in. Agree? Yeah. Because, like, um, just putting on a video to react to on stream is kind of, like, to me it's lazy. It's lazy. That's my take. It's not fun. Yeah, it's not fun content. Like, it's like, I might as well just watch the video on my own. And then I feel bad because then I don't watch the actual video. I mean, it does lead to, like, more exposure for, like, the person who created the video in terms of just more eyes seeing it, and hopefully that will result in, like, more followers or more, sub more subscribers. I think unless you have a large community- yeah, I think React- okay. I think React content is good if your chat is very active, because, like, um... If, like, the chat is dead, then that sucks, but, like, if, like, the streamer is making jokes and chat is making jokes, then there's just so much more, like, content, right? That's why, like, I will usually gravitate towards larger people because, like, like, half the fun is just reading chat. Because, like, you have everyone, like, either emoting or just making cringe jokes, and it's so funny. Or, like, people just baiting to get attention. Which is also comedy. Like, huge part of streamers have like 200 plus viewers. I can see that as fun because there have a lot of people watching with you and commenting. Oh yeah, for sure. I think that's what I just said. <laughs> but yeah, like, chat is just so much more engaged and like involved in the content. Like, the streamer doesn't necessarily react it, but I think just chat is just for like people who also chat. But if you're like me, 10 to 20, no. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard. Because, like, not a lot of people are chatters. Like, if you look at, like, people who view the stream and then people who engage in chat. Like, I don't necessarily want viewers. I want chatters. I want people who, like, meme and stuff. Like, I want someone to bounce off of. I want someone to, like, make jokes and, like, make fun of me. To an extent, I don't want bullies, I want trolls, okay? Yeah, you have a lot- yeah, you do have a lot of lickers. I wish people would chat more. Like... I'll- I'll- like, I will look- like, I would say maybe... When I'm modding, I'm like, maybe... Like, 85% engaged, because I'm usually like, do, like, playing a game or doing something else, but like... Whenever I mod, I put, um... My text enlarged to like 175 percent 
That way I can see in like my peripheral if like a new message pops up because like your chat is slow enough to like where I can like not have to be fully attentive. Um, like I can always see in my peripherals if like a new message comes up or something moves on my screen. Um, what was I gonna say with that? Fucking forgot where my point was. <laughs> Oh my god, it's gonna irk me now. Like, I, I cannot remember what it's gonna say. I think it's also, like, if the streamer is talking all the time, then it gives chat more stuff to bounce off of. Like, I know if I talk more, just in general, I'd have potentially more people chatting. Like I said earlier, when I lurk in the discovery tab, I will watch someone for five minutes. So if they don't talk in that five minutes, I'm not going to say anything in chat. <clears throat> also, like, YouTube chat sucks. YouTube lives, they suck. Like, even just watching, like, the VODs, like, the way the chat is set up, it has the timestamp. And then it has their username, badges, and their YouTube profile icon. So, like, it's so hard to read when, like, half of, like, the, like, the line of the message is just, like, their user icon and then profile icon. Or sub badges. It's stupid. It's so much harder to read than Twitch chat. I mean, YouTube is definitely getting there. Like, the live streaming platform, I think... Definitely has, like, a larger potential than Twitch, but, like, the chat community is so much more... It, it's better than the YouTube Twitch community right now. And this part of the process, more people will have lurkers, then chatters will come. I think it's also, like, people have to be confident enough to chat. Like, I, I think it's so nervous, because, like, I will make jokes from the get-go. I've said this to you before, Rainy, but, like, uh, I will, like, test the waters on certain jokes to see, like, if chat or streamer likes it. Because, <laughs> like, my humor is borderline dark, edgy, like, a lot of verbal irony or sarcasm. Obviously trolls or, like, obvious troll baits and stuff. Because I think it's funny. I also think using all caps is fucking hilarious. Because, like, I am, like, far from, like, the... Um, like, loud type. I'm very quiet, IRL. I mean, like, I'll make bits and- Oh my god, I'll make bits and jokes and stuff, but, like, I'm usually able to keep to myself. But I just think using caps is really funny. Um. Okay, time to go home. Oh, I was actually gonna go do a comparison of numbers today from four months ago to see how much of a difference there has been. I hope they've gotten better. I think I've been watching- you for like a month or two now, right? Question mark? I know Katie introduced me to your content. Um. I think my other concern is like, it's hard. Like, I thought of like, things to like, get people to follow or get people to like, engage more. But like, they feel too like, uh, they feel too like, baby. Like, they feel too like, clout chasey. Like, I had an idea, I might do this, I don't know, where, like, I have, like, a dummy or, like, a doll here, and then, like, give it a shirt that says chat, and, like, I just think it'd be a really funny bit. Um, lol, aw. <laughs> I'd make it really ugly, though. <laughs> That'd be, like, part of the bit. Like, I thought about doing it, I was like, that, that would be a funny bit. But I wouldn't that I wouldn't want that to be like a consistent shtick. <laughs> Check it can be friends. Yeah, that's what I immediately thought of. I was like, I can either make it like really cute, really ugly, or like scary. Um. Cause like I have a lot of like one-off bits that I've thought of. But then it's like it's hard to justify putting time into like a prop if I'm only gonna use it once. Like it's not like I have, like, a production team budget to where I can drop, like, 
200k on getting a prop made or buying supplies and then like doing it. Wait, do I have everything that I need? Oh, some fruits are done. Because <laughs> this Mario Jar prop, it took me like 80 hours. It was insane. Looking back, there could have been like a more efficient way for me to do it. But that was just like 80 hours with the free time that I spent. I mean, it's gonna be ages till I beat Odyssey. Like, I'm already a fucking day and a half into my speed run. So, you know. We're gonna be using this prop for a while. And, like, I thought about repurposing the clay moons into another prop. Or not another prop, but, like, I wanted to kind of... See how much damage. Um, I wanted to, like, repurpose, like, the moons into little charms. And rather use it to, like, make bracelets or earrings. Yeah, so let's go ahead and save. But, like, I've thought about it. Because, like... Okay, let's go to full camp since I'm not playing the game anymore. Yeah, full cam looks pretty decent. For what it's worth. I have a pillow back here, because, like, I thought, I was like, the pillow looks ugly, but, like, I don't want my back to give out, so, you know. Um, what was I gonna say? Because, like, I thought about making, like, fan art earrings, but then it's like, to me, selling someone else's IP is kind of bad. Like, it's a really big problem on, like, Redbubble. Like, there's a big issue with people, like, stealing other people's fan arts, and that's not cool. Um, so, like, I thought, I think it'd be fun to make, like, fan art inspired things for content, but not to sell. So, I think it'd be fun to, like, do for giveaways in the future if I have enough, like, demand or audience for it. But I would not like to sell it, because, um... If anyone's familiar with like Demon Slayer, how he has the little Hanafuda earrings, like those are so cute. I really want to make myself a pair, but I was like, I don't want to sell it because like that feels bad, you know. Um, yeah, I think that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, fan art is kind of. I'm indifferent about it because a lot of times. Fan art becomes what you're known for, like, especially if you post on, like, social media. Like, pe that's what people expect you to make. And then, whenever you try to, like, gravitate towards, like, a different fandom or don't want to do fan art at all, you get a lot of people who leave. Which is understandable, because, like, it's not the content they signed up for, but then it's, like, I just want people who like me for me. I guess, if I'm likable, I don't know. Um... But yeah, it's a lot to, like, think about. Right? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I know I need to work more on it. But like I said before, like, I don't want anything online to be my main thing. Like, dream goal is to release a product. That's my goal. Like, I want to, like, make something tangible that I can, like, hand out to someone and say, like, I made this, you know? Actually, show- I can actually do a show and tell time. I said I was gonna do this on Friday. Um, I can show what I made this weekend. I don't know how look good it'll look on cam, though. No leaks, no leaks. Do not steal my designs, because that's mean. Um, I got some custom clay cutters that I showed on Friday on stream. So I did some baking tests. I posted this on my Twitter, too, so follow me there. Um, I hate this romper. It's so weird. Like, this part sticks out. A lot like this. It looks fucking stupid. So I have to keep adjusting it. But anyway. So I did a few baking tests. You can't really see. Because I did tests with um, testing the temperature of clay. And then I did a few glaze tests. These I glazed again this morning. So they are not fully dry. Because it takes about 8 hours for it to dry completely. But I will try and carefully grab one. So you can see. The actual gloss detail. There we go. So the gloss isn't going to come up as well in camera because it needs to be under like direct light to see.
like the reflection. But, so I was doing tests to see like what textures will look like with different methods of applying glaze and stuff. I wish this would show up, but like the back of this one, I tried a slightly different method of applying. See, it's not going to show up because the texture on this side is really rough. So when you put the glaze on, it has a lot more infractions. So there's a lot more. It looks glittery and shimmery almost. Oh, any artsy people will like know what I'm talking about. But like any normies who don't make art are just like, what are you talking about, Megan? Um. I think it's really fun to experiment with different mediums, different styles, different methods. It's also interesting to like ask friends what they think of stuff because like everyone has a slightly different preference. Who, like what type of glaze looks best or like what infractions. Look That's why like I think product design just in general is really interesting because especially like packaging design too. Um, because, like, everyone will have, like, something they will gravitate towards in terms of, like, color, placement, alignment. And it's just a lot of, like, so many intricate details you don't necessarily think about as a consumer. Hey! Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Potato. <laughs> Potato. That's so cute. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I debated whether or not I wanted to go into, like, production... Or like product design school but i think that's such like a specific thing to get into but yeah um uh, enough chatting changes to just chatting <laughs> um i would love to be sponsored by like a yuku uku company is that like a i'll have to look that up it's like like product design that sounds like a kawaii type clothing brand Ukulele? Oh, never mind, never mind. Uk, oh, like uk, uku. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can't spell, dude. Get your actual keyword. <laughs> I hate this keyword. Callback time. Callback time. Um. Yeah, enough rambling, enough rambling. So I'll be back again tomorrow with more Stardew Valley. Finishing off the last week of fall. Tomorrow. Same time, 11 a.m. PST. Um, thank you to anyone who came in today. Uh, we had Rainy Day Games show up. I appreciate you coming in and chatting. Pleasure as always. You know, appreciate your support. We also had a new follow right at the end. Potato, one, two, three. I appreciate the support, man. Um, so yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow. Hope you all have a good day. Bye.